Good afternoon. On my orders, the United States military has begun strikes against Al-Qaeda terrorist training camps and military installations of the Taliban regime in Afghanistan. These carefully targeted actions are designed to disrupt the use of Afghanistan as a terrorist base of operations and to attack the military capability. Look around here. I know those two guys. I saw them flying apart. Yeah, that, that yeah I got that guy too. I saw him die earlier. He was in 40 round. Correct. Um, Good. Get ready. This guy's moving. We are calling it iPhone. Today, today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone. Hello. 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 Uh, hello. 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 And CNN can now project that Barack Obama, 47 years old, will become the president-elect of the United States. We project he now has enough electoral votes, more than 270, more than enough to become the 44th president of the United States. This little-known U.S. senator only a few years ago, seemingly coming out of nowhere, delivering the uh, Democratic Convention keynote address back at the convention in uh, 2004, all of a sudden taking off, becoming a United States Senator from Illinois, and now he will be the first African-American president of the United States. This and thousands of miles from the White House, Barack Obama's Kenyan relatives rejoice at the election of the man they call their child. Even bin Laden himself shot back, but with a shot to the head, the SEALs took him out. While all this was going on, one of the U.S. helicopters had trouble. The team made the call to destroy it there on the ground and hustled the women and children out before detonating the aircraft. Tonight, let me say to the families who lost loved ones on 9-11, that we have never forgotten your loss. USA! USA! Times Square looked more like a party as hundreds took part in the celebration. It's a great hour for USA, great day for they're USA. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. But I speak to border guards, and they tell us what we're getting. And it only makes common sense. It only makes common sense. They're sending us not the right people. It's coming from more than Mexico. It's coming from all over South and Latin America, and it's coming probably, probably from the Middle East. But we don't know, because we have no protection, and we have no competence. We don't know what's happening. And it's got to stop. And it's it is my high honor and distinct privilege to introduce to you the president-elect of the United States of America, Donald Trump. Ours was not a campaign, but rather an incredible and great movement made up of millions of hardworking men and women who love their country and want a better, brighter future for themselves and for their family. It's a movement comprised of Americans from all races, religions, backgrounds, and beliefs who want and expect our government to serve the people and serve the people it will.